I share about two decades now of the XX program of Ferrari. The first XX car to be road legal is the new Ferrari SF90 XX Stradale and its spider version. Usually cars with the XX badge are limited to the track use only and there aren't a lot of people who get access to them. And the ones that do are the very special Ferrari customer. In this program, these customers get access to six annual exclusive track days organized by Ferrari across the world where they are allowed to push their cars to the limits. Now this program is not just about offering a special driving experience to those people, but to also improve and develop new technologies for Ferrari cars in general. And the SF90 Double Extra Dali benefits from that and takes it to the road. Now first, the whole idea behind the Double X program is the unrestricted driving experience and the exclusive access to those events in the first place. The SF90 Double Extra Dali doesn't seem to have access to those events, because of how many cars are going to be made, 799 coupes and 599 spiders. And in terms of the weight, compared to all the double X cars, this car is much heavier. 1560 kilograms compared to let's say the F double XK Evo that weighs 1075 kilograms dry, the weight difference is significant. So is this car worthy of this badge? If you prefer to have an SF90 that benefits from the engineering of the double X program and you can drive it on the road anytime and anywhere you want, I would say it's worthy of that badge. Now the SF90 Stradale is already an impressive car, it's a hybrid monster, has a V8 and 3 electric motors. Two of them are located on the front axle and one between the engine and the gearbox. This configuration produces almost a thousand horsepower. In the SF90 Double X Stradale, they increase the power to 1015 horsepower by polishing the endless and exhaust ducts and improving the compression ratio with new pistons and specific machining of the combustion chamber in addition to shaving off 3.5 kg by removing the secondary air system. Now that power is not enough to make this car much different from the SF90. There is also improvement to the exhaust sound. They redesigned the hot tube and relocated it close to the cabin's bulkhead and used different materials to improve the acoustic clarity so the driving experience would be much more involving. Now all of this is not the center point of focus of the SF90 Double X Tradale. It's all about the aerodynamics. From the first glance you can tell this thing is going to be a downforce monster. It can generate double what the SF90 can by improving some aero elements and adding new ones. This starts with the new front larger splitter that generates a tube of air and sends it to a larger and wider front diffuser which helps increase the downforce by 45 kg at 250 km an hour. Alongside this, the inclination of the front radiator which is responsible for cooling the electrical components is different. This helps channel the hot air more efficiently over the bonnet which gets extracted by two S-steps. And this combined with the new louvers on the front wheel arches can generate an overall 325 kg of front downforce at top speed. To balance this front pressure, the signature element in the rear takes care of that. This is the first time a road legal Ferrari gets a rear wing this large after the F50. It can generate up to 530 kg of downforce at 250 km an hour. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.